Hello everyone. Welcome to General Sciences Biology Module 12. Today's topic is Nucleic Acids. My name is Ruthrisha from GK Today and I'll be taking you through this. What are nucleic acids? DNA or deoxyribonucleic acid and RNA ribonucleic acid are nucleic acids. These are molecules comprised of monomers known as nucleotides. These molecules may be relatively small, which is the case with RNA, or quite large, as is the case with DNA. Individual nucleotides and their derivatives are important for living organisms. ATP, the molecule that transfers energy in cells, is built from nucleotides, as are a number of other molecules crucial to metabolism. DNA and RNA molecules are responsible for hereditary information that controls the protein synthesis in living organisms. They are called nucleic acids because they were first discovered within the nucleus of a cell by a Swiss biochemist, Frederick Mischer. Where is DNA located within an organism? In prokaryotic cells, DNA and RNA are found dispersed in the cytosol, which is the fluid space between uh, insides of the cell. In eukaryotic cells, DNA and RNA are found within the cell nucleus and also in mitochondria and chloroplasts. RNA is also the main component of nucleolus and ribosomes in eukaryotic cells. What are DNAs and RNAs made of? Both of them are formed by sequences of nucleotides and a nucleotide is made of one molecule of a pentose sugar in uh, deoxyribose in DNA which and its uh, ribose in RNA bound to one molecule of phosphate and to one nitrogenous base. While remaining things are same, the nitrogenous bases are of five types, adenine, guanine, cytosine, thymine and uracil. Out of them, adenine and guanine are called purines because they have fused ring structure, while in cytosine, thymine and uracil, they are called pyrimidines because they have single ring structure. While both DNA and RNA consist of adenine, guanine and cytosine, thymine is only found in DNA and uracil in RNA. This is shown on this image on the right, as you can see, um, the both adenine and guanine, which are purines found in DNA and RNA. In RNA, you can find uracil and in DNA, you can only find thiamine. How is the structure of DNAs and RNAs? So the nucleotides are joined together, supported by the backbone of the sugar and phosphate. These are long chains that may be either single stranded or single stranded folded onto itself or double stranded. Whenever the strand folds onto itself or two strands come together for making a double stranded structure, the nucleotides are joined together with hydrogen bond between the nitrogenous bases. This is called base pairing. The rule is in DNA adenine links to thiamine while cytosine links to guanine and in RNA, adenine links to uracil and cytosine links to guanine. So cytosine always links to guanine. The RNA is either single stranded or a single strand folded onto itself. However, in DNA, it is a double helix structure. The double helix structure of DNA was discovered by Watson, Crick and Wilkins. What are the different functions of DNA and RNA? DNA contains the genetic instructions used in the development and functioning of all known living organisms. It is the medium of long-term storage and transmission of genetic information. On the other hand, RNA plays an important role in the process of translating this genetic information stored in DNA into protein products. In other words, DNA is the boss who instructs RNA and RNA is the assistant who takes the blueprint to produce different proteins from this and then plugs it into cellular machines called ribosomes. So this process is known as transcription. Ribosomes are the sites of protein synthesis. How do DNAs and RNAs work within an organism? DNA is the hereditary material that contains the genetic code for long-term storage. RNA takes this blueprint from DNA via transcription and plugs that into protein factories called ribosomes. These ribosomes then produce required protein in the process called translation. There are three types of RNAs, ribosomal RNA or rRNA, messenger RNA or mRNA and transfer RNA or tRNA. All of them originate from DNA itself as copy of one of the strands of DNA. The resultant RNA has same sequence as the other strand of DNA except the uracil will replace thiamine. The ribosomal RNA is the structural component of the protein making factories. 
messenger RNA carries the genetic message from DNA to ribosome and transfer RNA is the smallest of the three types and it carries amino acids to ribosomes during translation process. The entire process is known as central dogma in biology. That's all for this lecture. If you like this lecture, please subscribe to our channel GK Today on YouTube. Till the next lecture, goodbye.